Hello there, it's Mr. Vini again. Today we're going to talk about Muslim ways of life. And let's start by talking about trade and everyday life for Muslims. Uh, the Muslim Empire spread the Arabic language, and because the Arabic language had been spread, it made it so that they could communicate with each other better, so that helped to increase trade. Another thing to help increase trade was the Muslim merchants kept very detailed records of business deals and they were also provided coins to go around the empire and trade. Now Muslim cities became important centers of learning and art and so beautiful mosques were built there and they were the, the, a mosque was the house of worship or the place where Muslims go to worship. Um, they also could find bazaars which were marketplaces and they were built for shopping. Um, many Muslims lived in villages however like we talk about the cities and city life but many lived in villages and they farmed and in the Muslim society men and women had very different roles in what was expected of them. Now let's talk a little bit about some Muslim achievements and here's some of the things that Muslims or Arabs have done to help contribute to the world you live in today. Uh, the Caliph Mamun founded the House of Wisdom in Baghdad, which was a place of learning. The Muslims are the ones that invented algebra. They also borrowed the numbers 0 through 9 from the Gupta Empire in India, but they're the ones that introduced it to the Europeans, and that's why they're called Arabic numbers. They perfected the astrolabe, which the Greeks had been first working with, and they're the ones that worked with chemistry. They discovered that blood circulates, and they even had great works of literature like the Arabian Nights and the Rubaiyat. And like I said before, they built many mosques and palaces. All right, that's just some of the achievements that the Muslims are credited with. Hope you enjoyed this little discussion, and I'll see you in class.